lots of uh, time for aerobic exercises or zumba or some abdo abdominal exercises that would be great uh, we tend to as women skip the fertile window altogether because uh, of course we have a little lesser window of opportunity compared to other people two out of 10 people do have uh, mostly a corporate insurance which if even if it doesn't cover Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shweta Goswami, Fertility Specialist at Ziva Fertility Noida. Uh, you're watching Fertility Fridays with me, uh, where we try and welcome hope into your lives as soon as we can. So today we want to talk about uh, what can be healthy, uh, you know, guides for uh, elderly moms, which means any woman uh, beyond uh, the age of 37, 38, if we are trying to conceive, is there some special thing that we should keep in mind during pregnancy that we should keep in mind? Uh, so first, of course, a fertility thing that we know that uh, as the woman gets older, it tends to get a little more difficult to conceive because some of our eggs are not as healthy as they used to be. So first, uh, let's be realistic that it can take us longer. And uh, therefore, we should try and get into active, uh, you know, evaluation and seeing if everything is okay right after we start to plan rather than, you know, pushing it to maybe 8-10 months uh, since we start trying. So early fertility testing is a guide to tell us where we stand, what are our realistic chances and uh, therefore that will help us of course work better and quicker on our egg health and sperm health and uh, help us qu uh, conceive quicker. Uh, overall, I would say we should also uh, look at what should be the lifestyle changes that we should be looking at. So I think it would differ a little bit uh, whether, you know, we, we are a working uh, couple or we are a homemaker simply because maybe our you know, schedules and demands could be different. So where a woman uh, is a working woman, I think we have to try and find time uh, for exercise and, uh, you know, uh, working out so that we know that all of those things are going to be very important to keep our hormones in balance. So no matter how busy we are, no matter how, you know, hectic our travel schedules are, if we could at least take out 30 minutes of uh, time for aerobic exercises or Zumba or some abdo abdominal exercises, that would be great. Uh, we tend to, as women especially, you know, uh, not take care of our health so much as uh, the rest of our family. So we must take out time to, you know, focus on eating healthy, whether it's more nuts, seeds, uh, you know, more uh, healthier fruits. It's something that we must look at uh, so that it helps us conceive quicker. Uh, trying to find time, uh, importantly, in our fertile window at least, so that we get the right fertile uh, window is very, very important. And I think that is something that we should keep at the back of our mind. Uh, it's a difficult game because it should also not stress out our system. But at the same time, we should have it at the back of our mind because we should not skip the fertile window altogether. Because, uh, of course, we have a little lesser window of opportunity compared to other people. And therefore, we should be keeping uh, the concept of time in mind. Uh, if uh, we are a homemaker or yeah, we are mostly at home, I think that gives us the liberality of time. Of course, uh, we are all uh, as busy as even working women if we are at home. But all I'm trying to say is that maybe scheduling around work, maybe taking out time, 30-45 minutes of exercise could be easier. Uh, it also we must you know find our timelines we must look at our work schedules and take out that little time uh, for our own self so I think we have to work on our physical health we have to work on our nutritional health we have to importantly work on our physical and mental health which means whether it is just about 15 minutes of meditation a day or taking out time to work on our uh, you know mental uh, things what are going on in our mind taking a little break in life and thinking what we want to do uh, is something that will help us now, beyond that, I think uh, one of the important medical things that we need to do, as I just mentioned, is to do fertility tests quicker if required. Because we have lesser time compared to other people is to look at, you know, probably looking at a medical treatment sooner than other people. Once we've conceived, uh, which is awesome, uh, you know, we have to then look at taking it a little easier in the first trimester when the risk of miscarriage could be a little higher than other people. Very, very importantly, we have to be even fitter and have our physical and mental health better because the overall risks of developing blood pressure, blood sugars, which is diabetes during pregnancy could be higher when, they are, when we are on the other side of the 30s. So we have to be even more careful with our diet, uh, with our vigorous exercise during pregnancy, uh, you know, good yoga exercises to keep our body in fit. And most importantly, no matter how fit we are, uh, we have to be realistic that, you know, this, these are changes that are coming in with a biological age. 
and therefore an early diagnosis is more important so rather than just thinking that no okay i have a great uh, you know physical uh, life and therefore i am not somebody who's going to be uh, at any risk whatsoever i think is a wrong uh, thing to think of because no matter what we think 10% of us could develop uh, high blood pressure and high sugars having some little growth issues in the baby so focusing more on our protein diet focusing more on you know at least monitoring our blood pressures and sugars because early diagnosis in pregnancy is half the work done if we know there is this problem you could be on medications you could plan uh you know ultrasounds treatments with your doctor and even early delivery if required uh but knowing all these things can happen is the first step in taking charge of it accepting that it may happen knowing that it's reversible the minute once we've had our baby things will get back to normal so it's just uh being more meticulous with that and also i would also want to add here that uh you know in case we think uh, we are at a you know threshold in life where we really cannot plan pregnancy but we are looking at biological age increasing i personally feel that egg freezing embryo freezing all these cryopreservation techniques are a great uh, scientific tool to help us women you know at least pause the biological clock and you know plan a pregnancy when we later want to so i would seriously want you to consider that if you think you're at a threshold in life where either due to work career social obligations lack of a good male partner we think we have to postpone our pregnancy so uh, you could consider cryo preservations as well so i hope these small tips uh, would be useful uh, so we just need to take extra precaution and care around these and but we are as fit uh, and of course of uh, 30s and 40s are no longer even considered uh, anything like an elderly primary gravid as we used to earlier say because life is very different now but we definitely need to move work on our physical and mental health so i wish you all the best i wish and hope you can see very fast and you're a quick on uh, a road to a healthy pregnancy all the very best so uh, i i'll just take some questions uh, that we have from our uh, viewers if you also have any questions feel please feel uh, free to write to us in the comment section or write to us or email to us so um does ivf get covered under mediclaim policy please guide is a question being put by megna so megna nowadays uh, i would say 2 out of 10 people do have uh, mostly a corporate insurance which if even if it doesn't cover completely does cover insur ivf partly so i think you should check that with your hr uh sj jain is saying hi my age is 29 my uterine cavity is small the ecl is 26 mm and all other reports is normal my 2 iui fails can i conceive with ivf so uh, s s j jain c uh, usually this is a little incomplete information uterine cavity is typically small for people who are not even having regular cycles so mujhe honestly aapka diagnosis nahi samajh mein aaya because if you've had iui then obviously everything else is going okay usually the uterine cavity is not small so i think it needs an evaluation q hai if you have hypogonadism or some ovarian failure as a reason then let me reassure you that hormone therapy is very easy and very uh, simple and it helps to restore the uterus back to normal if the uterus is not healthy due to some other reason or it's uniconvoid then it's a different pathology altogether but i think agar uterine cavity is small hai to us pe evaluation zarur hona chahiye so uh, dextrex gamer is saying uh, ma'am mere do baby hain aur ek ectopic pregnancy hui अब बेबी कंसीव करना है सो so, देखिए अगर एक टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी या बाद में ट्यूब को निकाल दिया गया है तो अगर एक ट्यूब हेल्दी है तो आप उससे भी कंसीव कर सकते हैं बट अगर दोनों ट्यूब्स अनफॉर्चुनेटली ब्लॉक्ड हैं या एक टॉपिक से स्कार्ड uh, हो चुकी हैं तो आईवीएफ एक ऑप्शन है जो आपको डेफिनेटली कंसिडर करना चाहिए बिकॉज आई सक्सेसफुली ट्यूब को बाईपास uh, कर देगा अशोक कह रहे हैं मैम आई में कोई गारंटी होती है टोटल खर्चा कितना आता है तो अशोक जी आई में गारंटी तो नहीं होती क्योंकि वी के नॉट गारंटी हम भगवान नहीं है कि प्रेगनेंसी एक प्रोसीजर से होगी बट आज की डेट एन एरा में 65 टू 75 परसेंट तक का चांस मतलब कि 10 में से सात लोग कंसीव कर जाते हैं एक ही अटैम्प्ट में जो मेरे हिसाब से बहुत अच्छी साइंटिफिक एडवांसमेंट है खर्चा टिपिकली इसमें डेढ़ से दो लाख रुपये के करीब होता है डिपेंडिंग अपॉन आपकी क्या इंडिकेशन है आपको किस तरीके का आई चाहिए ठीक है थैंक यू आपके भी कोई भी क्वेश्चन है प्लीज फील फ्री टू राइट टू अस थैंक यू